Hello. Well, I just recently bought some new knives, and this one came in the mail, and I thought it was kind of interesting, so I thought I would show it off. Um, this is a Wanger Evo 13 with the Realtree AP Blaze scales. And um, so you probably know, you know, Victorinox acquired Wanger in 2005, but they kept the Wanger brand going until 2013. But then ever since 2013, any Wanger design knives like the uh, Evos and the Rangers have just been branded the Victorinox Delamont collection. But, late, but in 2012 and like early in 2013, the Wanger brand was trying a lot of different things, trying to, I guess, differentiate the brand, try to pump up sales. And one of the things they did was they licensed these camo designs from a company by the name of Realtree. Now, Realtree does not make any products themselves. They just create these camo designs and then license them to manufacturers who put them on, you know, their equipment, uh, gear, clothing, stuff like that. So, Wanger, um, they license this AP Blaze, kind of a hunter orange, high visibility, you know, animals can't see it. AP, by the way, just stands for all purpose. I did not know that until I looked it up. Uh, they also had a Hardwoods, which um, is kind of a forest scene, you know, it's green and brown with leaves and sticks and stuff, very camo. And then an AP Snow, which was kind of a forced snow scene. It's mostly white with some branches and things like that. Um, the AP Snow didn't come out, I don't believe, until th 2013. So right there at the end. And so they, um, Wanger used this on a couple of 85 millimeter models, the Evo 10 and the Evo 13, which this is. And the only difference is this is your basic tool package plus a saw. And then they used it on like three different 130 millimeter Ranger models. Um, what's supposed to be cool about this, and um, I haven't been able to get it out and look at it, and we'll talk about that just in a second, but the camo pattern is not the same from side to side. It's not the same on both sides of the knife, and it's also not supposed to be the same from knife to knife. So it's kind of interesting that you might get a unique pattern on your knife. Now this came in this blister pack, and that disappointed me because I want to put this up as a collectible and keep it, you know, new in the box kind of thing. And with a box, you can get it out, look at it, play with it, put it back, you know, wipe it down, we'll put it back. I don't want to cut the blister pack open, so we're not going to get a chance to look at it. So I apologize for that. However, I was kind of delighted that it came like this. Again, my light's not real good here, but I don't know if you picked up on this, but it came in a Victorinox blister pack. And the hilarious thing is, is on the back it says, if it doesn't say Victorinox, it's not the original Swiss Army knife. No, it's not. It's a, it's a Wanger, the genuine Swiss Army knife. Um, so what they've done, obviously, is they were using up, you know, Wanger's old stock after they did the brand change. They were putting it in a, um, the, you put this Blaze 13 sticker here, but you can just see where it says S13, Evo S13 underneath it. And that's this Evo model here with the locking blade and the saw. So I just thought that was kind of cool and a little little odd, and I think I'm going to hang on to that that way. So anyway, sorry we can't get out and look at it, but you've seen knives before. All right, thanks for watching.